Cammy, can you hear me? Up. Oh, they're northbound is, on Cotton Lane. Northbound on Cotton Lane. He has just rammed police cars. Did you see that? He rammed that Phoenix police car and uh, pushed it backwards, went across the median, and now he's going back the other way. And uh, Tammy, can you hear me now? Anyway, you can see that you can see that truck going around other vehicles. Uh, this is a crazy scene, and this is how people get hurt, including police officers. Uh, the truck has now come to a stop, and the officers uh, are behind it. Um, they're going to come out of there with guns ablazing. So we do have this on delay, just in case anything happens. Uh, Tammy, uh, can you read me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead, Scott. Okay, we can see a person on the passenger side with their arms out of the door. This was a crazy scene. Yeah, from what I could tell, it looks like there might be at least one, possibly two people in the vehicle right now. A very dangerous situation, as you saw. Uh, he rammed several police officers and several other cars. Right now, uh, he's northbound on Cotton Lane. I'm going to zoom out here, uh, and you can see all the officers behind uh, him. Because of this dangerous situation, we have several police officers up in the air as well. Uh, Phoenix Firebird trying to help here uh, as well. We believe he might be being, you know, giving up at this point, but we're not sure. We do see his hand out there. However, uh, his last impact uh, hitting several officers. We don't know if he was hurt in that collision because look at this. He's going to continue. Looks like they're continuing on right now. It doesn't look like this is quite over. Even though we have all the police officers behind him, they're going in right now with the dogs. And uh, it look, hopefully this is going to be uh, resolved soon because he's continuing to go right there. A very dangerous situation right now. They're in the vehicle. And like I said, from what I could tell, at least one, possibly two people uh, in the vehicle. But they're going to do whatever they can. There, he's on the ground. Looks like there's at least one, one person, one person, and they're about to get him in handcuffs. Yeah, the reason. So uh, definitely the best ending to this story after you, what you saw, uh, this person was uh, ramming several people. Uh, we don't know if there was anyone hurt, but just really a dangerous situation that started on Interstate 10 near 67th Avenue, ending northbound on Cotton Lane. Scott? And Tammy, I just want to explain to our viewers why uh, what you're saying doesn't match up to the video. That's because we have about a six or seven second delay for obvious reasons, just in case. Uh, anyone is hurt out there. But uh, as you can now see, there are a ton of law enforcement officers, including uh, canine officers. Uh, they all have their guns drawn, and uh, they have this guy out of the truck. You can see the truck with the damage on the front of that. It's windshield wipers running back and forth, uh, which I'm assuming happened after he rammed into the uh, police car. But they have this guy on the ground and handcuffed, and it looked like they were waving maybe to bring some emergency uh, or, or